What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to the Locks DFS NBA Breakdown. My name is Adi Narang. I'm from LocksDFS.com, and I will be breaking down this eight game, eight games, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, this eight game main slate on DraftKings um, for Friday, November 15th. Uh, before I break that down, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so right here at Really Addy. Um, if you want to join the team, you can go to LocksDFS.com, get yourself an NBA or NFL season pass. And if you want to be entered into winning a free NBA or NFL season pass, all you got to do is leave a like, leave a comment on this video, and make sure you're subscribed. Um, as you guys know, we, we run this giveaway every single week where we pick someone for a free season pass of their choice um, on our Thursday Night Football Showdown video. So we picked the winner of last week's giveaway on a... Uh, He's already reached out to us, but he picked the winner of last week's giveaway on um, last Thursday video. So the video will be up on Wednesday night next week. So be entered into following or be entered into um, winning that and uh, stay tuned uh, to see if you win. So with that being said, let us jump into this slate. So very interesting slate we have here. Um, I've been looking at it for a few hours now. Uh, it's thin. I mean, there's not a lot of value on this slate as of, you know, four hours before lock. This video will probably go up with a couple hours before lock, maybe two, two and a half. Um, and there's just not a lot of value that's emerged on this slate so far. We've got the injury. Uh, we'll go over like the injuries that we do have right now. We have the injury to uh, Clint Capella. He, he sustained a concussion towards the end of their last game. He will be out for this game, which will boost Tyson Chandler into the starting lineup. I think you can project him for around 25 minutes. Um, I don't think you can project him to completely take over the Capella role, which was 32 minutes a game, um, you know. But I think you could project him to somewhere around 24 to 25. Maybe he could push 28. Um, but I do think we see them go small a little bit at times with P.J. Tucker at the 5. They're going to need his size out there versus Sabonis. Um, but I could definitely see uh, P.J. Tucker getting a few minutes at the five, which may take away from Tyson Chandler a little bit. Still think he's definitely in play, but I'll get to the reason why you might not be able to get to him on this slate um, in a little bit. Um, next injury, we got Anthony Davis, but he is now probable for this game. Uh, he's got this big Q by his uh, name, so that may keep his ownership down. But he's fully expected to play, and he's sub 10K in a pretty good matchup versus the Kings, who have... Uh, struggled to po defending opposing big men all year so he's definitely going to be an interesting play he definitely um takes javel mcgee at 5-9 dwight howard at 5-2 both out of the equation i still think kuzma's probably in play at 5-6 uh but it's much more thin now with anthony davis expected to play um what other injury news do we have we got Dwayne bacon for whatever it's worth he's 3.2k um that's a huge price drop from where he was but he's a bench player now now that they're starting Devonte graham so even if he were to play he would be like one of the more thin value players on the entire slate um so he just really you know he's questionable though so i gotta put that out there um then we got the houston situation as far as guards go daniel house is doubtful for this game um and as we know eric gordon is already ruled out so on a slate that's very very thin for value this may be as good as it gets um, Daniel House being ruled out, uh, Eric Gordon being out. Uh, in this situation last game, we saw Austin Rivers play 34 minutes. Uh, partly that was because Russell Westbrook was in foul trouble. I believe Ben McLemore was in foul trouble a little bit too. I was watching this game. I think, uh, as you see here, when Russell Westbrook, he sustains three fouls in the first six minutes. Um, and then Austin Rivers checks in for him. Uh, then Russell Westbrook convinces D'Antoni to put him back in the game and he picks up a fourth foul in this stint right here. So I think that's why Austin Rivers played such a long stint in this first half. Um, ben McLemore also picked up like five fouls, I believe, right here, which is where Austin Rivers checked in for him again. So these minutes might be a little bit inflated, but Russell Westbrook still played 30 minutes last game. So it's not like he really played like a, a severe decrease in his minutes. Um, so I think I think Austin Rivers at 3-7 uh, makes for one of the more decent value plays on the slate, as well as Ben McLemore at 3-8. He played 22 minutes this game, but um he did sustain foul trouble a little bit um so he could get up to the 25 range which on a slate that's this thin for value uh, might make some sense there um also it's important to note that they closed with the austin rivers russell westbrook lineup uh as you can see here austin rivers russell westbrook james harden clint capella prior to his injury and pj tucker um so they're not opposed to running those three guards out there and this is a matchup where they could definitely do that um Anyways, 
Also, one thing of note with the Daniel House injury is that uh, P.J. Tucker last game got uh, 39 minutes without without Daniel House, and I definitely think he could see a small boost in minutes and rebounding floor with Clint Capella out as well. So he makes for a pretty solid value play, and I think that's where, you, where you're really going to have to approach this slate from. You're not going to get, as at least as of now, news might break, but at least as of now, you're not getting this 3K value that's been available to us uh, in uh in slates past like even last slate there was 3k value available in guys like you know uh terrence man um you know rodney magruder all those clippers guys uh etuan moore there's just really not like that 3k value here so you might have to go towards some of this 4k value which is definitely doable um because uh the plays that i do like on this slate that i think majority of you are gonna have to jam in is gonna be guys like carl anthony towns um, he's just in an awesome spot at home versus Washington, a team that struggled with defending opposing big men. They're in the bottom five and rebounding this league, uh, bottom five in opponents, second chance points, which is very big for a guy like Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, and he's only 10K, which is sort of like his floor this season, um, or at least what should be his price floor this season. So I really like this spot for him. Then you got a guy like Andre Drummond, who's seen a massive price decrease with Blake Griffin playing. Uh, despite the fact that we don't really know how much Blake Griffin is going to affect him, we know it's going to affect his uh, overall shots. He's going to take a few less shots, but it could help his playmaking. He could get a few more assists. He could get a few more open looks. Um, you know, that little big man, uh, two-man game that they run where Blake Griffin throws onto Drummond some alley-oops. And this is as good of a matchup as it gets. Um, you're going up against a Charlotte team that is one of the worst rebounding teams in the league. I got it pulled up here somewhere. Um rebound percentage so they're the second worst rebounding team in the league behind the chicago bulls so we already know that is um you know andre Drummond's sort of forte uh their their bottom half in the league in opponent's second chance points and their bottom half in the league in uh points in the paint which is all very uh, appealing to a guy like andre Drummond. and the prize decrease i mean this guy was you know 10.5 10.8k just a few games ago and he was easily reaching uh value at that price tag so when you really need like a 40 point floor from him, he sort of just gives you that week, uh, day in, day out. So really like going with guys like Drummond and Towns. And for that reason, is what I was alluding to earlier. It's going to be hard to play a guy like uh, Tyson Chandler. Despite him being good value, uh, a lot of the plays that you really want to make on the slate are at center. So I think I would still lean towards Drummond Towns, maybe passing on the Chandler value uh, for some of the other 4K value. Um but let's go to this Houston game, actually. We'll go back to it on the Indiana side. I think there's some real viable plays over here as well. A guy like Malcolm Brogdon at 7.6K is far too underpriced. Um, this is as big of a pay spot as you could ask for. Uh, we know Indiana is a team that wants to play fast, but they sort of just haven't so far this season. They rank uh, 26th overall in pace, but they're going up against a team that is number two overall in pace. Um, they, they're just trading off back and forth between Milwaukee pretty much. Uh, they're one of the worst defensive teams in the league as well, and they allow one of the highest opposing three-point shooting percentages in the league. So that's going to play right into the hands of a guy like Malcolm Brogdon, who's, I believe, like in the top five in assist percentage on the year. He's got a high usage rate as well, and he's just sort of at his uh, floor price so far this season. I mean, he started the season in the 6Ks, but since he he's emerged as a superstar, um, you know, he's been 8'8", eight, 8'2", eight, 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 and now he's sort of at his floor at 7'6", coming off a couple bad games. The Orlando game is just like Orlando plays slow, and they play a good defensive game, and they blew out OKC where Malcolm Brogdon got in foul trouble in the start of the third quarter. Um, easily would have coasted to 50 fantasy points had that not occurred and had the game stayed close. So, uh, you know, I, I love Malcolm Brogdon in this, spot, in this spot. I also love a guy like Bradley Beal who we see coming pretty cheap at 8.5k. I think going Beal and running back with a guy like Towns makes a lot of sense on the slate, especially when you consider the dynamics and like, you know, all these all these low over-unders. And then you have this game, 242.5, the over is up four points. Uh, makes a lot of sense to be overexposed to this game. Um, so I think that's viable. And if you do go with that route where you get like sort of three of these studs, like let's say you go Malcolm Brogdon, Carl Anthony Towns, and a guy like Andre Drummond, still leaves you with um, 47.60 uh, for your values. And I think there's a lot of good 4K value on this slate as opposed to 3K value. You know, PJ Tucker, I already talked about. Darren Fox remains out for this game. He's an injury note I didn't touch on. Corey Joseph in his absence played 38 minutes 
Um, he did reach value at 3.7K, but it wouldn't have reached value at 4.6K. I do think his upside's a little higher than 18 in this spot. I still think he's probably a good bet to get you 25-ish uh, DK points, which would be good enough to get you uh, value on the slate. Also got like Robert Covington, another one of these 4K values. Um sitting here at 4.8k he's got equally as good of a matchup versus washington obviously a high pay spot that we've already talked about but also just a bad rebounding team so that'll boost his rebounding floor um they're bad defending the opposing three-point shots so that plays into robert covington's hand as well so i think that's sort of how i'm going to go about this looking at this slate unless more value emerges in the 3k range i really think i'm going to look to limiting my exposure to a lot of these high price guys to so maybe three and take advantage of the discounted high price guys like Drummond and, and Brogdon uh, while trying to round my team out with enough 4K, solid 4K value that I feel comfortable in their floors and their upsides where I can let my sort of high price guys do their thing. So with that all being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the sort of brief rundown of this NBA slate. If you did, a like and a comment means a lot um, and it will enter you into winning a free season pass of your choice as we will announce on Wednesday. So with that all being said, guys, hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys run good and take something down tonight. And I will see you guys uh, for Addy's action tomorrow. Peace.